Welcome to another Home Cook versus Pro Cook Showdown. My name is Robbie, and today I will be going head to head with Chef Levon in making Korean steamed egg. Now, about nine months ago, I filmed Chef Levon making this dish on camera, and just by the looks of it, it should be simple to make. But today we're gonna find out if a home cook like me can make Korean steamed egg look as good as his and taste as good as his. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Levon, and today I am making a Korean steamed egg using Mama Teev's hot garlic. This is one of my favorite sauces. There are plenty of chili oils out there, but I really appreciate this sauce just because it has a nice garlic flavor. It's spicy, but not too much, and it has a lot of umami coming in from all the spices that they're using. In this video, I did use three eggs. Uh, you can't use four or five, but you'll just have to up the amount of dashi that you use. For those of you who don't know what a dashi is, dashi is a Japanese word for very simple fish stock. All it is is kombu, which is dried seaweed, um, and then it also uses bonito, which is dried fish that has been smoked. Um, in this recipe though, I did say dashi, but it is actually a anchovy broth, since that is the classic broth that you use for uh, Korean steamed egg. And all that's made with is with some anchovies, dried anchovies, a little bit of kombu, as well as some dried mushrooms. I did use a little bit over a half a cup of dashi for the egg ratio. And the really key thing with this is really making sure that you don't burn the bottom of your stoneware. So you'll have it on high heat, but really making sure that you keep it at a simmer when it's cooking, just so that the bottom doesn't get scorched. But you do want to have that bubble effect on the top. One of the advantages of using a Korean stone bowl is that it retains heat really well because it's made out of stone. If you haven't had Korean steamed egg before or even made it, I highly recommend you give it a try. It's a super easy and simple recipe. Most of the times you already have the ingredients lying around in your house. Maybe the uh, anchovy broth you'll have to go source, but you can also make it even with chicken broth if you don't have any of that. I'm confident that this will go well. However, one thing I don't have that he has is a stoneware pot. So I came up with a simple solution. I'm gonna use a matcha ceramic bowl. <laughs> Now, this bowl can retain heat well, but the problem I have is that I don't have a lid, which is crucial if you want to steam eggs inside of this. In order to steam this, I'm going to add it inside a small saucepan and cover it with water. And once I cover it with the lid, that way I'll be able to steam the egg inside of a sauna. I don't know. Now, these came in very large pieces, and looking at the recipe, it says you want two by two inches. So I'm gonna bust out a measuring tape. All right, so we got two inches on this side. Now we need two inches on this side. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Now, before I soak this in water, the recipe says to take a damp paper towel and just wipe the surface of it, just to clean it a bit, remove any debris. But it also says don't wash it too much so you don't remove any natural flavorings. And that's what it looks like after. All right, we are ready to let this soak. I'm gonna take my saucepan, add in one cup of water. And 
now that they got their feet wet, I'm gonna let this soak for 30 minutes. We're going to bring this over to stove top, bring it to a medium heat. I'm gonna add these back in. There you go. Cover that up and let it soak and simmer for 10 minutes. Timer for 10 minutes. So while that steeps, now we're gonna make our egg mixture, which is basically just eggs, scallions, fish sauce, mirin, We'll go straight into the ceramic bowl. Still not boiling on the inside, so maybe the ceramic bowl cannot retain that much heat as I thought it would. But I feel like this could still get the job done. Oh, that's hot. Am I worried? Yeah. Am I confident? No. Will this taste good? Yeah. But will the texture turn out fine? Probably not. I'm gonna add a stoneware pot to my Amazon cart. That's a lot of steam. Well, 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 let's see what we have here. That is jiggly. <laughs> Time to add in some Mama Teeves hot garlic. I had a bite of this earlier and uh, my tongue is kind of numb. I'm usually good with spicy food, but this stuff is no joke. Here we go. Oh, I've never had egg like this, but the stock really makes it stand out for me and that tastes pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I could have done better if I had a stoneware pot, but I'm surprised this actually worked. Making a makeshift steamer with a small saucepan and a ceramic matcha bowl <laughs> with lid on it, it works. It works. This is my first time making Korean steamed egg and having done all the steps, I would say, yeah, it's pretty simple. However, you do need the right equipment for it and having a stoneware pot really yields a better result than whatever I just did. So get a stoneware pot if you wanna make this. But that's it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what you thought of this video or comment down below who you think did better, me or Chef Levon. I'll see y'all in the next one.